movies are everything to me. Movies define time. They define progress in technology. I like to experience what a film does to me personally when I watch it for the first time. Film does so much for not only the creative person, but it does for the audience. I am proud of every single film I've made. I enjoy taking something that's literally nothing and making something out of it. You can convey a story that it's hard to convey in words. You can take that, you can package it and give it to somebody and say, here, you know, you can experience this with me. There's so much that you can do with film. You can, you can take this much time and turn it into this. There was a friend of mine uh, in the, a while ago that said that he felt like the internet was bad for nostalgia. I can get on Google and just type something and, and relive it. Growing up, we didn't have that stuff. Even my youngest now, he will never understand what it's like to live with something that was just a memory. I started going through my old films that I made when I was a kid. I thought it'd just be kind of interesting to kind of document the 11 year old kid to where he is now at 50. I grew up in Point Place, Toledo, Ohio. My mother introduced uh, my brother and I to like B movies, you know, Creature Feature on Saturday. Uh, we used to watch, and there'd be all these like you know movies that my mom grew up with, The Blob, War of the Worlds, all that kind of stuff. In 1977, Star Wars came along. 20th Century Fox and George Lucas, the man who brought you American Graffiti, now bring you an adventure unlike anything on your planet, Star Wars. Here they come. Tickets were expensive. They were three dollars a ticket. So for our family of four to go to the movies and spend 12 bucks on a movie was just too expensive for my family. So it w I didn't get to see it until like months later. This wasn't the days of wait four months and then you're holding it in your hands on Blu-ray or DVD. It's up at the theater. You can go see it multiple times at the theater. But once it's done, it's done. It's gone. You never see the film ever again. So you went to go see Star Wars several times. I think I saw Star Wars maybe nine times in the theater. Star Wars just opened the, the idea that I could probably make a film. Star Wars did homogenize everything that I grew up with. So if, I had, if it was Frankenstein, Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Blob, uh, War of the Worlds, all those kinds of elements of that stuff was in Star Wars because you had spaceships, you had creatures, you had things from a different planet, different different planets. You had them all in one film. My dad had a Super 8 camera. So when Star Wars came along, it just kind of coalesced into the right time for me. I took my dad's camera and started making little films of my own spring of 1978, I did my first film, Journey to the Sand Planet. Just shot in the backyard one day, just a Star Wars type film where a spaceship crashes onto a sand planet. I wanted kids to see my film, but I didn't think it would be enough draw for a three minute film for kids to come. Kenner started creating these Film viewers, you basically would have this, this like device that you pop a cartridge in, and if you crank it, you could watch a scene from Star Wars. 
So I got a bunch of these cartridges, cracked them all open. On sheer coincidence, it just happened to be Super 8 film. I took all this footage and I spliced it in and now I have about maybe a good half hour of actual Star Wars film. So I was able to show like kids in the neighborhood this half hour version of Star Wars. And as an introduction to that, I would introduce Journey to the Sand Planet. We set it up in our garage and maybe sold tickets for like 25 cents or something like that. It was just fun to see something that you've created being projected on the wall. I watched it so many times that it would like actually break the sprockets and then it would be almost impossible to watch because it would just it would just shake through the entire thing. In 1978 or 79, my family moved from Point Place to the west side of Toledo. Moving is always traumatic for a kid, so you had to like, you know, find new friends. And, and I met a couple friends who were interested in making films, and we made, we made some. Again, very Star Wars related films. The first one being called The Rebels. I was a little more involved than some of the ones I had before because I was actually working with somebody. It did kind of like, like set up the possibilities of, oh, what else could I do? As a 10-year-old, you know, growing up, it, that was like some cool stuff. I think ever since Star Wars, I've made a film every year. Um, so I do kind of mark time by the films that I've made. When you hit 50, I don't know. You start uh, looking back on things. Some of the films that I just recently transferred, I haven't seen for 30, 40 years. They were pretty much how I remember them. Some of them would did capture like some of the old, say, wallpaper of the times, or the clothing, obviously, that we wore. I was working at McDonald's, and that's when I bought my first video camera. <laughs> I'd take the camera and film all the crazy things we did. How's it fit? That's right. All right. And that actually led me to my very first paying gig. I got a wedding. I did, for, I think, for maybe a hundred bucks. <laughs> for the first time, it made it legitimate. And I got to the point where maybe I did five or six weddings a year. Bought better equipment, bought a better camera. I would tell my younger self, like, if you really think that you are interested in doing filmmaking, pursue that. There is a, there is a career in that. There is a, there is a job out there for you. I love everything that I've done. Even the crappiest films <laughs> that I look at now, every single one of them has been uh, just a little stepping stone to get me to the next place. When, when I made Journey to the Sand Planet, <laughs> I didn't think that would, it would really amount to anything. It was a stepping stone to another film, to another film, to another film, to a sales video, to a corporate video, to a TV commercial. It's all been a progressionary thing. It's gone from just being a simple little hobby to actually paying the bills now. I enjoy making films for my family, uh, for myself. They don't have to be made for anyone. What's that thing to work? That big one thing? Everything is recorded, especially grow up in my house, everything's recorded. You can convey a story that it's hard to convey in words. You can convey an experience that, m say most people, won't ever get to experience. 
but I enjoy that process. I enjoy taking something that's literally nothing and making something out of it. Thank you.